Welcome back to Forum 40, where we're going behind the scenes at the Community Food Bank of New Jersey's Southern Branch to find out all about how they help the thousands of people that are fighting hunger here in South Jersey. But they wouldn't be able to help so many of our neighbors in need without the help of dedicated volunteers. And what's great is it doesn't cost anything to donate your time. Since volunteers are a big part of what made the food bank possible, I stopped by their warehouse to see some action. Let's take a look at just how one of the many groups are giving back to the community. Winston Churchill once uttered the words, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. A truer statement has never been said. Each year, thousands of caring, selfless people from around the area band together to give back to the community and help brighten others' lives. And today, I've had the great fortune of stopping by the Community Food Bank of New Jersey Southern Branch and taking a look at what exactly goes on behind the walls of this great organization. And I even bumped into some ShopRite volunteers who are giving up their time, going above and beyond the call of duty to help families live better every single day. After a a long day's work for most people here, they have no second thoughts about elongating their evenings to selflessly give a helping hand to those in need. The volunteer process begins at the front door where sign-up sheets are handed out and once all members are present, they walk through the halls to the warehouse for their job assignment. Before getting put to work, Maria, the volunteer coordinator, lays out the rules and gives a few helpful tips. So you're pretty much just keeping light items together, light size hands together. Many are new here today, but there are also plenty of familiar returning faces. From card attendants to customer service associates and grocery clerks, there is a wide array of participants from the ShopRite stores. I'm standing here with Maureen DiGaetano, who is the assistant store manager of the Egg Harbor Township shop, right? And Maureen, you've been volunteering here for quite some time. How exactly did you get involved in this? Well, about two and a half years ago, Perry Blatt, one of the owners of the company, uh, decided that they wanted to put together a, a group of people that volunteer. So we called ourselves the Village Volunteer Corps. Um, in came Sandy, which gave us our first opportunity to come together as a team. And uh, we did work from beach cleanup to Habitat for the Humanities and then got in touch with the food bank. And that's pretty much how we've um, evolved into tonight. You work for a company that has a great relationship with the community. How has ShopRite helped with the food bank? Well, when I look at the figures, they're pretty impressive because we formed um, Partners in Caring back in 1999. And since then, Partners in Caring has donated $33 million to the food bank. We donate approximately $3 million annually from the stores. And um, so far this year, 60 tons of turkey have been donated to the food bank from the ShopRite stores. So the Northeast Corridor, uh, there's a pretty big influx just from all the Wake Fern stores. I can tell you have some volunteers from each one of your stores. How does the information get dispersed? Uh, we set something up um, right now tonight. We're here at the food bank and up north is also doing a food bank uh, visit at the Hillsborough plant. We're here at the South Jersey food bank. Uh, Perry sends down some information and we email it to the stores with posters and sign up sheets. And it definitely looks like you guys have a lot of fun out here. What exactly are some of the activities that you participate in when you're at a volunteer night? Well, we never know until we show up, but different things like packing up boxes for the, uh, the holiday drive. We'll um, st stock the pantry. We'll even stuff envelopes. But most of the time when we've come, we've sorted food. A lot of donations are made from companies and from uh, supermarkets and we sort the food to be put in the pantry. Well, most definitely sounds like giving back is a top priority. What would you say to those thinking about volunteering their time? Give Maria a call here at the food bank. She's the volunteer coordinator. Uh, they're always looking for help, whether it's somebody by themselves or a group, um, and she'll set it up. Well, Maureen, thank you. I've already rolled up my sleeves. Are you ready to do likewise and get involved tonight? Yes, I am. All right, well, sounds like we're going to have a lot of fun. I had the humbling opportunity to get my hands busy and help build and stock what are called holiday boxes. They contain basic holiday essentials like potatoes, canned corn, and gravy. Several hundred were produced by the volunteers this evening, and it's always an awesome feeling knowing we helped out in such a big way.
Working side by side with us all evening was Village Supermarket South District Manager Bob Wode. What brought him out here this evening? Uh, just to support the Community Food Bank along with uh, the great associates we have out here tonight and show uh, our commitment to the community. How do you determine exactly what foods get donated from the stores? Well, seasonally we do a lot of uh, Thanksgiving donations and uh, if there's any special requests. Plus we also uh, what we call glean a lot of our product uh, to the food bank on a regular basis. What has ShopRite done to help people cope with the hardships of this year? Uh, well, we uh, donated many, many things to the food bank, including the turkeys. We continue to try to offer the best prices on all holiday items to the customers in the store. And uh, we just take uh, our involvement with the community very seriously to help however we can. When asked if he was going to return at any point, Bob seemed more than happy. Oh, definitely. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You come down here and see the amazing job done by these people, uh, caring people. It's uh, quite a... Uh, amazing sight to see uh, the amount of food that comes through here and is given to the community. It's just uh, heartwarming, so I would recommend it to everyone. For two hours straight, these volunteers worked feverishly, knowing each box they packed was truly making a difference. Tammy explains her reason for being here tonight. I myself, I have a personal experience. I grew up um, needing, you know, I was poor growing up, so it just makes me happy in my heart to give back to the community. Thank you for doing Finally, that. I caught up with Colette, who is the food sourcing coordinator. What role does she play? Uh, I work with donors throughout the Tri-County area. That's Atlantic, Cape May, and Cumberland County. I work with a lot of the supermarkets, uh, including ShopRite, and they're here today helping us sort food and package uh, holiday boxes uh, for the upcoming season. Uh, I work with a lot of the farmers who are so generous to give us fresh produce, which we greatly need. So um, it's a very rewarding position. Uh, it's a great organization. We need donors, we need volunteers. You've helped countless lives over the past several years. How exactly does the volunteering process work? Well, the volunteer process works. Of course, you have to um, call Maria Pacelli, who is our volunteer coordinator here at the Egg Harbor Township branch. Uh, and you can reach her at extension 114 or go on our website. Uh, and you just simply sign up. You have to go be, have an orientation. And there are so many ways you can volunteer. You can volunteer at food drives. You can be an ambassador. You come here, you can help us sort food. Um, there are numerous ways that uh, reach out to Maria and she'll let you know. It's great to see members of our community come together to help out. And like I mentioned, the Community Food Bank of New Jersey wouldn't be able to help so many people, of course, without its volunteers and the generous donations of non-perishable items. And so, Nick, what do non-perishable food items, pajamas, and two of our favorite morning show radio hosts have in common? Hmm. I have no idea. Well, I'll explain how there's an operation to help the Community Food Bank of New Jersey after this short break.